All right, good news. The uh, holy shit camera, focus. They do come with Zerk fittings. This one's not in tight, but uh, and it looks like they're really flat and there's no grease in there, so I'm gonna have to pack them nice and good. But uh, both ends have Zerks, so that's a plus. And uh, this is the O-ring I'm missing off the gas tank. And it's three dollars off Rakato. I probably have to wait a little while for it to get here, but local Napa has it for eleven bucks, so I'm gonna go that route for that. So uh cool. Get you guys soon. I'll be outside working on the van. Alright, so I already did the winter tires on the back. That's pretty straightforward. If you don't know how to do that, well you shouldn't be doing anything else on a vehicle. Um, these link kits are a little different. They have like an Allen key insert you can see in the middle and then the bolt around. So what I'm going to try to do is I already hit it with some penetrating oil and I'm just going to see how hard it is to actually get that off of there. Um, this side top isn't so bad I can hit it with an impact and loosen it up a little bit. The bottom side's reverse, so that's a little bit more interesting. And when whenever you're doing something uh, that has to do with the sway bar you always want to jack the car up evenly on both sides because um, it's connected to both suspensions. So if this one's completely up on the other side, you're going to have a huge amount of pressure. And then when you're going to go put the link kit back in, it's either going to fall in too short or too long. So you want to keep both sides of the vehicle at the same length or completely droop the suspension out. And uh, then you can always jack up, you know, uh, you can always jack this up a little bit if you have to, the A-arm. So... All right, before I fuck around with this, I'm gonna get the other jack stand and put it underneath the, uh, the cross member in front there, just to be a little bit more safe, and if I ever need to use the jack to fuck around with uh, lifting this up to get the other link kit in, I'll have it uh, available. So, back soon. Every single time I've touched link kits on any vehicle, especially in Quebec with our shitty ass winters and salt and all that on the roads, I gotta cut them out. So I went and got the grinder slowly, surely, work away around it. It's not pretty, but the other side almost cut right through. You see there, it's really deep. The other side almost went right through, but uh, I had no choice to get it out, eh? So I guess I'll be putting the new ones in and the winter tires on and I'm done. Took me about half an hour just grinding and cutting. So luckily I had a, a thin discs, thin discs thin disc to to get at it a thicker disc would be a little bit more harder but uh, I'm so happy I actually got them out now I just need to uh, tighten the zerks on the new ones and uh, pack them with grease and on they go all right so new parts are on nicely greased you can see this side where I cut almost cut right through there but I don't think it's gonna hinder the the structure of it that much but uh, if it does anyways the struts are due on this probably next year so if we keep it so just putting the tires on I got some uh, traction king uh, with the uh, obliged little mountain with snowflake <laughs> I'm gonna get my compressor the rest of the tires are pretty soft but I'm happy that the van is uh, is almost done. I got to bring it into the shop for uh, the A-arm bushings. I really don't feel like doing that on the ground. It's going to be a lot easier for them to do it uh, up in the air with uh, you know the the real impacts with the air and stuff like that. So cool. This is it. This is the uh, the fixing of the link kits for the sway bar on a uh, Mazda uh, MPV multiple function vehicle I think that's what MPV stands for I know it doesn't sound like that because those words don't start with those letters but it's something like that but uh, pretty tedious if uh, they're not regularly changed they kind of seize up and you got to cut them out with a with a disc on the grinder but uh, we got her done so I'm gonna get the tires on and uh, get my air compressor and fill them up catch you guys later appreciate it